Hi everyone, I'm Chang Wen for Gotta Be Mobile and Notebooks.com. In this video, we're going to go ahead and take a look at the AT&T version of the Samsung Galaxy S3 and compare the 4G LTE network speed between the AT&T Galaxy S3 and the T-Mobile edition of the Galaxy S3 with its 4G HSPA Plus speeds. We're going to go ahead and see whether HSPA Plus on T-Mobile lives up to the 4G LTE speeds on AT&T. Let's go ahead and run some speed tests. I'm going to go first and check out the 4G HSPA Plus speeds on AT&T's network. And you can see the ping rate is only 59 milliseconds, which is very low, so it's very good for latency. And we're getting blazing fast, 26, almost 27 megabits per second on the download, and almost 7 or just a little bit over 7.5 megabits per second on the upload side. Let's go ahead and take a look at the HSPA Plus speeds. Eighty five milliseconds. Eight megabits per second on the download and just a little bit over 2 megabits per second on the upload. Let's go ahead and stack the devices to see how they compare side by side. As you can see um, on HSPA Plus on T-Mobile's network, the latency is actually quite low and is almost comparable to the latency on the Samsung Galaxy S3 on 4G LTE on AT&T's network. On the download side, HSPA Plus speeds were about a third of what uh, 4G LTE speeds are on T-Mobile's or on AT&T's network in the San Francisco Bay Area. And again, with the with the um, upload speeds, it's about a third again with uh, HSPA Plus compared to 4G LTE on AT&T's San Francisco network. So as you can see, although HSPA Plus isn't quite as fast as 4G LTE, um, T-Mobile's network does hold its own um, with download speeds over 8 megabits per second and upload speeds over 2 megabits per second, most users should be comfortable with these speeds and daily performance shouldn't be affected. So if you're trying to decide between at and speed versus T-Mobile speed, the better question to ask would be battery life. If you're in a 4G HSPA Plus or 4G LTE area, these speeds shouldn't matter too much in the long run. And the difference is that HSPA Plus is a little bit more conservative with battery life than 4G LTE and you'll get a little bit more out of your device each day without having to recharge as frequently. I'm Chang Wen for Gotta Be Mobile and Notebooks.com. Thanks for watching this video comparing 4G HSPA Plus on T-Mobile's network against 4G LTE on AT&T's network. Please join us at GottaBeMobile.com for additional information and a complete review of the US versions of the Samsung Galaxy S3. Thanks for watching.